Hi there, today as the title says we are going to be making ham and cheese roll-ups in the air fryer today. You can do this with roast beef, turkey, there's just endless possibilities you can do with this. We're going to be using them store-bought crescent rolls that you get in the refrigerator section. The air fryer that I am using is a Cook's Essentials 5.3 quart. With that, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm going to go over real quick on what I'm using today. I'm going to be using the crescent roll dough sheets. You can use the regular crescent rolls if you'd rather. Just make sure you pinch those seams up good if you do. I have some spinach dip, some slices of cheddar cheese. You can use shredded and any kind of cheese you'd like. I have some black forest ham. This is actually what I'm using right here. And I have three tablespoons of butter here that I'm going to pop in the microwave real quick and we're going to add a few things to that. Okay, I have my butter melted. To that, I'm gonna add about a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of poppy seeds, and a teaspoon of parsley flakes. All right, I have the crescent roll sheet out of the container. Now I'm gonna take the spinach dip. Mustard instead of the spinach dip would be good on here also, like a Dijon mustard. I'm going to go on with the cheese slices. Now our ham. Okay, now we're just going to start rolling this up. I'm going to cut these about one inch pieces. I'm going to be using a parchment paper liner. You don't need to do this. I'm just going to do this to avoid the marks that the bottom of this basket is going to put on the crescent rolls. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in checking these out. I'm just going to go ahead and place our crescent rolls in. Now we're just going to take our melted butter mixture and brush it over the top of each one. All right, we are ready to pop these in the air fryer. By the way, I was able to get all the crescent rolls in here, but two, I really didn't want to overcrowd these. I'm going to go with 370 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm just setting the timer for 10 minutes. Okay, we are nine minutes in, and these are done. Okay, now what I did was I let these cool off in the air fryer basket for about three minutes before taking them out. Otherwise, they probably would have fallen apart. All right. Very good. Highly recommend trying this one. This would be good with a salad, a bowl of soup, or just plain old chips. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, I think you'll like these other air fryer recipes. Go check them out. I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.